Hi, I'm Tracy Milady. Welcome to my little urban workshop. So I discovered Timbercon recently and while I was there I picked up some new wood turning tools that I've never used before. They're easy wood tools from America. I thought I would try them because they've got a carbide tip, a replaceable carbide tip. One of the tools I picked up was a roughing tool. This rougher, the tip has slightly curved edges. The second tool I picked up, it's called a finisher and it's got a round replaceable carbide tip and I thought the beauty of this would be that I'd be able to use more parts of this cutter as opposed to a standard gouge. The third tool I picked up is the detail cutter and this is amazing. I like to do a lot of detailed work, I like to make finials, I'm currently making candlesticks and you'll see when I use this how easily it goes in and creates beads and coves. It's a beauty. One reason I wanted to try these tools is because they're replaceable carbide tips, which means I don't have to sharpen. Another reason are the multicoloured tool handles, which is terrific. I have these on my bed of the lathe. I can't see the tips, but I can see the coloured handles. So I know that if I want the detail gouge, I pick up the yellow handle. It's very easy. When you hold these tools, you really don't need to grip them at all. What you don't want to do is to make them rotate. So I've just got a very light grip on the end, but my thumb is pressing down on the top of the tool onto the tool rest. They must be kept flat on the tool rest and parallel to the floor. So unlike the other gouges where you'd be on, a, on an angle, these must be flat and parallel. Terrific. I have on the lathe a piece of American cherry. Let's make a bowl. You'll notice that I've got a chip deflector on here now. That's because I was getting quite a few chips flying back at me. But this way, with the chip deflector on, works a miracle. I love it. Okay, I've got the bowl blank to this stage by using the rougher, roughing cutter. I went in a couple of centimetres and then I turned the tool rest around on the front and plunged it in that way and it was terrific. In order to get the angle on the tenon that, so that the tenon will fit the jaws of my chuck, I use the detail gouge. You just go straight in, that just gives it a nice angle so the jaws can clamp onto it. I found that the, the roughing cutter got rid of a lot of material very quickly which was terrific. And it also, not sure if you can see, but it also left a very neat finish. Although I'm going to now take the corner off and the whole shape is going to change. So now I'm at the point where I'm going to take this corner off. I'm going to use the finishing cutter. Right, so it's flat on the tool rest, thumb on top, parallel to the floor. Let's go. The advantage of using the Easy Wood finishing cutter is that you can go either direction. You don't have to ride the bevel, which you do with a bowl gouge. You've got more cutting surface to work with. I've always struggled to make the perfect bead, but I find with the Easy Wood tools, I, it's not a problem. I think it's because I have more control over the tool. 
and you can ride the tool backwards and forwards over the bead. Before I do my couple of final passes. I'm going to rotate the blade 90 degrees so I've got a fresh cutting edge. It would be advisable to actually have a dedicated cutter for just your finishing passes and then you won't have to replace the cutters as often. You'll also notice there's a mark on the side of the stainless steel bar that tells you the maximum overhang I had plenty of room left before I got anywhere near that. So that is a great advantage of using the Easy Wood Finisher. Oh wow, beautiful! That's a great finish. I found it really easy to get a beautiful finish on the inside of that bowl then, just by using a fresh edge and taking nice, slow, delicate cuts. I think it's come up a treat. I'm really happy with that finish, and that means that I have to do less sanding, which makes me a happy, happy girl. So the tool is what does the work for you, not the sandpaper. You get that finish as smooth as possible and you won't have to spend as much time sanding. Because I'm using a wide section of the cutter, I think that is what allowed me to run smoothly inside the bowl, thus creating very fine shavings, which allowed me to get a really smooth finish. I think another advantage of the Easy Wood finishing tool is that you can use it at any angle. So I'm using it at 90 degrees to the tool rest here, but I can swivel it around or I can come in and use this side edge from here. So that made it really easy for me to work within the inside of the bowl. This is a terrific tool for you because you don't have to concentrate on the bevel or the angle. You can use any angle that touches the surface. I can go in like that or at that angle. It's whatever you're comfortable with. There doesn't seem to be a right or wrong way with that. I've taken the bowl out of the chuck. I've made a jam chuck and I've fitted the bowl tightly in to the jam chuck. I don't have a set of um, Coles jaws, unfortunately. In order to keep it safe, I've taped the bowl to the jam chuck with some cloth tape so it won't go flying out. And now I'm going to use the detail cutter to tidy up the foot of the bowl. I quite like the foot on this bowl so I think I'll keep it there and I'll just tidy it up and that's a bowl. we have a footed bowl. So what I did there was I used the detail gouge to define the foot of the bowl. It gave me a nice crisp edge. And I also 
plunged it in slightly to make a couple of highlight rings. I then used the roughing tip to just smooth out the curve there. What I found using the detail cutter is I could get right into that corner of the foot where the foot meets the bowl and the side of the cutter was cutting the foot and even when the tip touched the bottom of the bowl that was fine I could use that as a cutting edge as well. I could finish the foot and use put the decorative elements in using the one tool. I really think the advantage of the detail gouge is that I was able to use the side of the cutter to finish off the foot of the bowl. By the way, I mentioned at the beginning that you need to keep the Easy Wood tools flat and level, parallel to the floor. Easy Wood tools are helping us here. They've come up with a great little level that you attach to the steel bar. Now, if that little bubble goes into the red zone, that means that you've tilted the handle down and it's dangerous. You must keep it up so that the bubble is in the middle. That means that the tool is level and you're good to go. So today I've been using the full size roughing tool and the mid size detailer and finishing tool from Easy Wood Tools. They do come in a variety of sizes and there are also other tools as well. This little fella is a mini. I'll definitely be getting my hands on one of these. I think he'll be great for the final smaller work that I do. And these are the mini <laughs> shh, shh, sit. And these are the mini roughing tools and finishing tools. They do go quite large. That's a large detailing cutter. There is also a pro detailer which is even bigger again and there's a range of hollowing tools as well. I've really enjoyed using the Easy Wood tools. I found with the roughing cutter I could use the leading edge also the side edges which was great. The chip deflector came in handy and the little leveller was a good reminder to keep it level. What I haven't mentioned yet is that all the tools a cutaway at the end. That's to encourage the user to hold them at the back. It gives you more leverage. The Easy Wood finishing cutter is fantastic. It's got that round cutting edge which I've made full use of in my little bowl. And the detailer, I love it. I'll be using this a lot on the finials I make and candlesticks, more finer work, more beads and coves. I didn't do too much of that today with my bowl, but in my general line of work, it's what I prefer to do. Last but not least, I didn't have to sharpen any of my tools today. I found the Easy Wood tools effortless and easy to work with. And thank you for watching. Scout, playtime. Oh. <laughs>